Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to do the rib stitch for the 60 inch 5 8 inch gauge 192 peg Universal S loom from Cindy Wood. Um, first of all, if you have this loom already and it's already marked for the figure eight stitch, the white pegs on your loom will look different. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over peg numbers and these are the pegs that you mark. You can mark them with rubber bands, you can mark them with fingernail polish, all kinds of things you can mark them with, but that's what we're going to do first. Okay, we'll mark your very last peg, which is 192, then your peg 1, then peg 8, 13, 18, 23, 28, 33, 38, 43, 48, and 53. You'll turn your loom the opposite way and you're going to mark the exact same on the other side. So it's going to be 192, which is the very last peg, then peg 1, 8, 13, 18, 23, 28, 33, 38, 43, 48, and peg 53. Once all your pegs are mark, marked, which of course the peg numbers are in the description of this video as well uh, if you need to reference back. What you're going to be doing is the ribbed stitch. So how we do that is you're going to wrap two pegs at the bottom. Let me zoom in so you can see us a little better. Wrap these two pegs and you're going to go up and wrap two. Go down and wrap two. Go up and wrap two, go down and wrap two, go up and wrap two. When you come to the white pegs, you're going to skip them and just keep doing the pattern like you're doing it. You're going to do this all the way around the loom until you get to the complete other end. Once every peg on the loom is wrapped, well every non-marked peg on the loom is wrapped, this is kind of what it's going to look like. I'll hold it up so you can see the design. Now from here, all you do is push down everything on the loom. Push all the pegs, all the yarn down. And then you would go back oops, and just follow that same pattern all the way around the loom to back to your beginning peg which will be over on this side when you do that as you can see it's going to be a mirror image both rows you're doing the exact same and then you're going to take and pull the bottom loops over the top push them down wrap again bottom over the top and you're going to do that until the blanket gets to the desired length that you would want or scarf or whatever it is you're making all right, I do hope this was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe, and again, thank you for watching.